I've been uh, challenged with trying to recreate something in the style of Farah Hassan, who's an artist uh, who is on uh, Instagram, who does a lot of these kind of double exposure images. Uh, I've kind of picked one out at random to try and create something in the style of. I'm not 100% certain how this is going to work, so I'm just going to do my best. Um, I started off finding a picture off the Pixabay, uh, tracked a little bit like a starting point. Um, I think I want to crop this image down a bit because I don't need the whole image. I just want something like that. So let's drag a box and OK it. Now I want to try and select her, I think will be a good starting point. So I'm going to use the object selected selection tool and drag a box right over her, which has done a reasonable job. It's uh, missed some pieces here and there. So I'm going to go into select and mask. Let's turn up my opacity so we can actually see where we've missed bits. And let's just draw over some of these areas. Let's see if we can get those to play a little bit better. Just does a better job of uh, refining our selection. And if you tell it where you think there's bits of hair and stuff, it will make a better job at just uh, trying to figure it out. Because it doesn't know there's a person there, it's just trying to establish edges from changes of colour and the like. Hmm. I like that bit. Not too bad. It's really struggling there. Let me try and uh, change tool. Oh, no! <laughs> Making it worse. What's that one do? Push tool. Just going in, holding Alt, just to improve this. Uh, That's okay. We can we can work with that. I think that'll have to do. Um, let's okay that. And then we've got our selection created. Now let's create a a layer mask. Right. I want my layer mask to be the reverse of that. So I'm going to hit invert. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's go with that. That's that's, that's a fine starting point. Um, I think if I hold down Alt and left click, you can see the layer mask we've created. Um, there are some holes in it which I'm, I would like to try and repair before we go on. So I'm just picking up a black soft edge brush, just drawing in over any of the uh, problem parts. Okay. Alt and click back. Now if we do Control and click. Then we have selected the the outside edges of the layer mask again. So now I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to fill it in white, I think. So I'm setting white, and I'm getting my paint pot, and just going blam a couple of times. So now we have a white background with a transparent woman selection. And uh, I think that's what's going on here. It's got a bit of a gradient over the top, but we'll come back to that. Let's, uh, again, let's just create a layer mess with that selection again and hide that layer. So we've got a layer mask for this and I've hidden the original painter. Right, I now want to bring in another image. Place embedded. And I got some forest pictures. Let me just drag that out. So I'm holding Alt and drag. And I want to put this maybe there on my picture. 
Um, okay. Now their image is all nice and black and white and moody and stuff, so we need to try and do the same kind of thing to our one. So if we go image adjustments, uh, black and white, then we can uh, then we can drop all the color out of it. I'm just playing with the sliders, trying to uh, trying to make it a bit more mystical. See how the blue sliders adjust, adjust the sky, mostly. Let's, let's ramp those right up. That's quite nice. Okay. Um, looking at this, it's got like a it's got a hand drawn quality to it. So I'm wondering if we use the uh, we've got some filters in here. One of which is if we can find it. Um, I'm looking for the oil painting thing it might not do it because it's because because this layer is already a smart object let's just let's go to layer uh, rasterize layer and get rid of that object from being a smart object and then we go to filter uh, where's it gone And stylize. There we are. Stylize oil paint. There we go. Now this is quite a cool tool, and you see already it's it's made it crazy and oil painting-y looking. Cleanliness. What's that do? Ah, that's how much brush marks you get. Scale. That's the size of the brush marks. Oh, I'm liking that. I, I like that as is. So let's OK that. And, and then I want to duplicate this layer. So I'm going to drag it down to the layers thing. So we've got another copy of it. It's right on top of the existing one. And I'm going to get my move tool. And I'm just going to grab this top handle. Oops. Holding down shift. And drag it upside down. And then move the whole thing up a little bit. So it's a bit like we've got a reflection. Something like that. Now let's drag uh, my silhouette layer. Which I'm going to label silhouette. And let's drag it to the top. So far so good. Look at that. <laughs> uh, let me just uh, close that. Uh, <clears throat> uh, right, so we've got that. This has actually got some of uh, the woman in there, hasn't it? And we've just removed her completely. So can we do something towards returning her? Bet we can. Um, let me switch that on and drag this up to the top. Let's invert our layer mask that brings her back in that's quite good let's make her black and white as well so let's go uh, filter uh, sorry image adjustments uh, black and white let's just mess with the colors on that too uh, that's not so bad and let's do filter. Um, I'm looking for the oil paint again. Stylize oil paint. Let's have a bit of that. Okay. Now, let's make that into a smart object. Um, filter convert to smart filters that's okay all right um now let's 
Let's add a layer mask. And we want to probably paint on it in black with a soft brush. And that's working. That's letting us uh, that's letting us paint her out and paint through to see the um, to see the forest behind. I'm turning down the flow here and the opacity, which will let us kind of paint through with a bit of subtlety and a bit of control over it, so we aren't wiping out all the detail of her in one fell swoop. So far, so good. Let's have a look at our other image. It's got this kind of gradient over the top of the whole thing, with like a dark outside and lighter in the middle. Let's try and do that. How hard can it be? Let's make a new layer, get the fill tool, and have a gradient tool, and a circular gradient, and we draw a line from the outside, click and drag, to make our gradient. It's backwards, isn't it? So I want to go that way, or that way. Uh, uh. I make a senior moment. It's that one. Hmm. Why don't we reverse it? I will draw it outside and we'll image adjustments invert. <laughs> that works. <laughs> so is that one darker on the outside? Yeah, it's darker on the outside. Okay. Obviously we can't see a thing beneath this one. So we can mess with our blending modes which are set to normal here by default so if, if we select it and just tick through them eventually we'll see one which does kind of the effect we're after every single one of these looks good look at that uh, i like one of the first ones was it dissolve darken multiply Quite like in multiply, but it's it's too heavy. So if I turn my opacity down, I can blend the two things together. Hmm. Bit lighter. I'm gonna find a favourite one soon. I'm thinking linear light. Linear light, let's use that. Let's just ramp up the, the amount of it a little bit. That's pretty good. Right, how, how, how are we doing comparatively? Similar thing. Now it's got all these birds. Uh, and I was wondering how to go about doing that. So what I, what I downloaded in my folder of things was a free butterfly Photoshop brushes thing, <clears throat> which I'm going to install. I shall supply a link to this. Hopefully that's installed. <clears throat> right, where do I want to put the the birds? They want to be behind my circular layer, and we're going to call them birds. <clears throat> now, hopefully my brushes. It should be down the bottom if it's installed. Free butterfly brushes. Hmm. Let's pick one at random and see what it see what we get. That's 
all right they're going in a bit a bit randomly um, if we go to window brushes brush settings uh, let's just step back a couple uh, spacing so we can space these out and we should be able to add some scattering effects to these can you see how these are going in random and how the frequency of the random both axes uh, brush shape dynamics size jitter oh, so this makes them all slightly different sizes angle jitter puts them in at random angles it's roundness jitter do oh that's just adjusting the the overall shape of them so if we've got we've got scattering on let's just have a bit of a go and see what happens have we got a gigantic butterfly we have i think i drew uh, oh, yeah. let's just bin the layer make a new layer and recall it birds it's not birds it's butterflies butterflies and let's just uh have a spattering of those there we go i think you'll agree completely identical <laughs> thank you for watching